Hello, I'm Tim Carroll. I'm the new artistic director here at the Shaw Festival. And here we are on the festival stage. We had the set of Women of No Importance up at the moment. But next year, we're going to have a set for Me and My Girl, a wonderful musical from the 30s, rewritten in the 1980s by Stephen Fry. And we have the wonderful Michael Terrio and Christy Frank playing Bill and Sally. It's a kind of Pygmalion meets Greece story. Next up, I'm going to be directing St. Joan. Uh, that'll be my debut here. First time I've worked on this stage with Sarah Topham playing Joan and I'm really looking forward to directing my first Shaw. I hope I don't mess it up. And then finally, Dracula, directed by Ida Holmes with the wonderful Alan Louis as Count Dracula himself. And that's going to be a, a really sexy ride of a production. Next year, we've got two extraordinary modern plays here in the newly renamed Maxwell Studio. One American and one Canadian, both classics. Middletown, which is by Will Eno and is playing first in the studio is the hardest play in the whole season to talk about. You just have to see it. It's strange, it's funny. All the plays in my seasons are going to be funny because I like to laugh. And it's really heartbreaking and you won't be able to forget it. 1979 is a great new comedy by Michael Healy, one of Canada's great playwrights. And it's about a, a lovely slice of Canadian history that I knew nothing about, which is the premiership of Joe Clark which was a bit blink and you miss it in 1979, and this play explains why. So I'm really happy that we have two such extraordinary North American masterpieces in the Maxwell studio. We've got some great theatres here, but a lot of people love the Royal George, and I have to say I'm one of them. We're opening here with a Royal George. How cool is that? George III, King George III, for whom this theatre was named, and we're going to do Alan Bennett's marvellous hilarious play, The Madness of George III, with uh, my friend Tom McCamus playing the king, which I'm really chuffed about. And then we're going to do Dancing at Lunasa, which is Brian Friel's greatest play, and, and he's an amazing writer. I love the, the tears and the laughter in that. It's very Irish and very beautiful. And then finally, we're doing An Octoroon, Brandon Jacobs Jenkins' play, which was a huge hit in New York last year, and really, it is a brilliantly funny and challenging and surprising take on Dion Boussico's Victorian play, The Octoroon. It's all about life on a plantation in Louisiana, so it's a, a really brilliant examination of race relations then and now, and whether we've made any progress. I'm standing at the top of the stairs outside what will be the Courthouse Theatre, and at the moment is just an empty pink room. Next year, it'll have 1837, The Farmer's Revolt. Philip Aiken is going to direct a really brilliantly entertaining slice of Canadian history uh, for the Canada 150 celebrations. Followed by me directing Androcles and the Lion, my second show of the season. The show will be different every night because we're going to be asking you, the audience, to influence the outcome. And then finally, our lunchtime show is uh, Oscar Wilde's short stories, we're calling it Wild Tales. It's four of his best short stories and the younger members of the audience are going to be invited to come along an hour before the show and make some of the stuff, learn some songs and generally be involved in the show itself when it happens. So we're going to have a very two-way theatre here at the courthouse next year. So that's 11 extraordinary plays we have on the programme. We rounded out to a dozen with the secret theatre events. What will those be, I hear you cry? The answer is it's a secret. You have to sign up for the Secret Theatre Club on our website and you'll get notifications in due course as to where to be, what to wear and what to be ready for. So, we've got an extraordinary season coming up. It's my first season and I'm really looking forward to meeting you all.